ready to go out on a rabbit hunt today. And uh, we should do pretty good. We got a good spot. It's a nice day. It's kind of chilly outside. The snow should be good. We're getting hair. And uh, we're going to see how we do. So. Isaac's got him today. Head, head, go for head. Got him. First hair of the day. Not even out to the trail. <laughs> Isaac, get him. Pop him. Well, it's going to be really hard to get good video of every shot. There's rabbits everywhere. We're up to three already. Pretty crazy. I got two and you got one. Yeah. And Cody, Luke took a shot at one, but he got away. Went down a hole. We're gonna have to strap everything down. We'll probably just keep the guns out from now. Here somewhere. I'm gonna go after that rabbit. Went right in. The I got him. too unfortunately they're not in season i'm trying to call see if i can call them back here but i doubt it um they might check it out or whatever a little bit but they're they close like the end of february and it's march so unfortunately i couldn't take them i probably wouldn't have been able to get them anyways it, it just you see them for a second and then they're gone yeah, they're too quick. but it was cool there's something you don't see every day and especially when you're hunting so i'd love to call one in sometime their their uh, coats are one of the best fur out there oh you gotta shoot Nice. Oh, beautiful. It's laid back. Good job, Luke. Right here you can see the hair have been uh, totally uh, feeding heavy here. And uh, what happens is they take and they nip all the bark off of uh, off the trees uh, the small trees and the willows they'll rim all the trees at, at the little trunks that they have or the stems and they'll kill them all and then the new growth that comes up will have a lot of tannis in it and then that ends up making it hard for the rabbits to digest future growth so the problem is is when these rabbits get too populated they end up killing all the vegetation and the vegetation that comes back comes back with the fences so that's why rabbits cycle and that's why when they're on the high of the cycle it's a good idea to go out and hunt them because then the high of the cycle lasts longer it's better for a lot of the other predators and stuff like that you need to get over a little bit Because he's going to die. Anyways, you can see the hair out there. There you go. Who wants to go get him? Take the gun with you. So right here on the ground, the wolves have been at it before us. Maybe that's why we're not seeing as many hair as we're hoping. I mean, we've got a fair amount of hair, but um, 
but it's it's kind of slower than I was originally hoping it was going to be. Probably getting close to 10. So we'll, we'll hunt them on the way out and see if we can get a few more. Uh, one of my tricks is uh, using binoculars for them. Uh, it really helps you spot them better. Uh, if you, you get into a spot that's really good, you just stay still for a little bit and watch with your binoculars. That helps me quite a bit. I can hold four and you guys can hold two. Five. So we got out today. We got nine rabbits, nine snowshoe here. And uh, it was a good day. A little bit less than what we were hoping to get. They're kind of on a high right now, but it's a little windy and so they're hunkered down pretty good. But uh, that's pretty good. And uh, we're going to take these home and we're going to uh, fry some of them up and eat them. So that's kind of our goal. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, watch some of our other videos. You can see a link to them in, in the screen and in the description below. There will be a link to some of them. And uh, yeah. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.